Welcome back, folks. So right on the list, still three con. Still three con with a bit of beer reviewing. Just come off a busy like walking path there. Just trying to find somewhere to scope out here. I think uh, I think there's a couple of good spots. That riverside spot there would be good for the tent. There is there has been a path made through here so I would suggest there's people been walking recently there. Yeah. So let's see if we can go a bit deeper. So we're a bit more out of sight. I think over that side would be better for me. I think just here would do okay. I can put my wee tent up in somewhere around here anyway. The only problem we have is we have stagnant water there. That may be an issue. But I don't see too many flies about at the minute. So yeah, let's let's get um, a chair out and we'll try this week's subscribers beer. So there we go. Um, so you know what guys, I think this, this wee spot will do okay. Um, this will be a tent one. I'll come back here, not be this week, maybe the week after. This week coming will be a van camp. But yeah, you know, you can get, get a little tent here, no problem. And we're just, we're just off the path enough here, hopefully that nobody would venture in. Yeah, there's a bit of concerns me as we walk over that way. People would maybe, we're adventurous people maybe tend to come down it, but it should be okay. But anyway, so now we have done the recon, it's time for the refreshments. We're on Newcastle Brown Eel, a um, subscriber recommended this. So we're going to try it. Never tried this before. I have it in the fridge, it's nice and cold. Um, Sam, camping with Sam Bananas. Um, Skat is camping and stealth camping and whatnot in the US. Good stuff. Let's try it out. Very fancy camping. Glass and all with me. E trout just jumped behind me there. Hope you can hear me okay because I'm whispering because there's a lot of walkers there. The usual old story. Let's try this. We fish a jump like crazy. Real strong smell off it straight away, I can really smell it. A real dark colour. Smells good, it smells nice and strong, real. Now the proof is in the pudding, let's do a taste test. Now, as I always say guys, disclaimer, I'm no professional beer connoisseur, I just like a nice, I like a beer and I drink plenty of them. So I'm just going to taste this and 
get the True Steel TV rating. Two steps to make a decision. I'd be happy enough drinking that. And what would I give it? True Steel TV rating. I'd give that solid seven. Seven's a good score. I'd give that seven out of ten. Hits the spot nicely. Refreshing. Let's have another test. That'll set me up just nicely for my dinner. Okay. I'll give you another bit of a look around, a proper look around this time. And um, you can get an idea of what this camp will be like whenever we get to it. We'll make this quick because we don't want a lot of flies getting into our beer, but give you a bit of an idea where we are. So we're just on the side of the river. We have this big stagnant pool here, but I would probably just take a chance of that, you know. It's only one night, so take a chance getting eaten by midges and stuff. And just in like maybe a hundred yards down that way is a, a busy walking trail. And there was a little walk comes down there, but it's yeah, I showed you a minute. I think I did show you a minute in the other part of the video there, but I don't think it'd be used too much. Is that a fly on it? No fly, I thought it was a fly already. Yeah, so let's go have a bit of a look. Now down at the river, of course, full of midges. But you know, I could even work my way along here and go deeper into somewhere like that. If worst came to worst, if I'm in there and I brought my camo net, that'll be put over my wee black Argos tent. You know, deep down in there, that'll be, that'll be 100%. There'll be nobody be seeing us down in there. So I think we have found another good stealth camping location. Um, yeah, I think this is a run to a winner here. And because it's summertime now, this has really grown. You know, it's all fully up. All the, the vegetation and the undergrowth is all really high. Winter time, that's really low and you can see right across this river, which wouldn't be there little time because you will get seen, but now you've got all this foliage and stuff here. Excellent, perfect. And you could just sit here and watch the little trout jump, turn the chair around. But what we're gonna do is, we're gonna finish our Newcastle brown eel, but left in there, and um, yeah, you know the score. Cheers and I'll see you on Friday. Just keep it stealth. Always keep it stealth. See you later.